One of the keys to an effective forehand is having a correct hitting arm position. Now, what exactly is a hitting arm position? Well, it's the relationship between your tennis racket and your arm at contact. So the relationship between your racket, your wrist, your elbow, all of this from my shoulder is a hitting arm position. And there are a couple types of hitting arm positions you can use when you hit a forehand. This one's called the double bend because my elbow is bent, my wrist is laid back, so it looks like there's two bends in this entire structure. And this phrase was first coined by John Yandel. Somebody like Novak Djokovic commonly uses this hitting arm position. Roger Federer or Rafael Nadal have a slightly different hitting arm position. Their elbow is pretty much totally straight, so their arm is totally straight. They've still got their wrist laid back. And this is an acceptable hitting arm position as well. I'm not going to get into the advantages or disadvantages of having, having a bend at your elbow in this video. What I want to emphasize is that the key to the hitting arm position is that before you hit the ball, as you swing up, you establish your hitting arm position. You keep the relationship between your arm and your racket the same. So from the shoulder, nothing changes as you swing up to the tennis ball. Still have that relationship when you hit, and then you even keep it a little bit into your follow through. And this is wildly important to understand because particularly at the club level, you see a lot of people with spaghetti arms. As they swing forward, there's a ton of stuff going on and that's wrong. What has to happen is as you swing forward, there'll be a point when you set into the hitting arm position, keep that through at and through contact. Now to illustrate this point, let's go to the FYB TV screen and we've got a shot of Frank Salazar at contact right now and he's got that double bend hitting arm position we just talked about. His wrist is laid back and his elbow is bent at contact. Now let's rewind it and go to the completion of his preparation. Arm and tennis racket obviously in a different position right now but as he drops the racket down and as he begins to swing forward, if we freeze it here, now he has established that hitting arm position. Again, the double bend, and he's going to keep this hitting arm position as he swings forward, when he makes contact, and when he follows through. And you can see that's what's happening as he swings forward. He hits, follows through. Arm position stays the same. Now, let's go back to that point about how much bend you can have in your elbow. There's some flexibility you can have there when you establish your hitting arm position. And to demonstrate this point, now we've got Frank split screen with Oliver Ackley, and we're going to play these two forehands forward simultaneously and freeze at contact. And again, what you're going to see, Frank's elbow is much more bent than Oliver's. So you have some flexibility in terms of how bent your elbow is, but the key you want to take away from this video, as you swing forward, establish your hitting arm position, keep it the same to contact and through contact. It's wildly important, absolutely critical to hitting an effective and a modern forehand.